Hey what's up guys this is Akshay and today we have with us the Portronix bubble bluetooth keyboard so this comes with a, a bubble keycap design and this is a bluetooth 2.4 gigahertz wireless keyboard uh, now I actually have a HP RGB keyboard but I was looking for a wireless keyboard so that I can set up it with my television so that I can uh, improve my distance vision while I'm working on my computer and that was aim otherwise my HP keyboard is doing pretty great and this is the Portronics. Now I went with Portronics because this is super cheap, like 899 rupees. As well as I've used Portronic products in the past and they are good. The, the build quality is amazing. And the pricing is perfect. So there you have it. Now you can see this is broken. So the box seems to be broken. We still thought this is probably a repacked one basically. Normally Amazon are not shipping uh, boxes properly. I'm not sure what is happening with them. Uh, well, last time also there was a transparent sheet now at least the packing was good but see this the box is broken otherwise you can see star this is what soft smart and savvy the bubble experience pretty good and it looks sick as you can see it's portronics bubble keyboard and the price quoted here is one triple nine which is basically i see all portronics products with this price i'm not sure why uh, you have one year of warranty and there's no seal which is weird i think this is box seems to be open so let's unbox this quickly open the keyboard as you can see there nice packaging and this is the keyboard itself pretty sick you have nice rounded keycaps this is i think a battery compartment and the battery is not provided in the box which is very weird you also get this wireless thing so if you're not able to connect to bluetooth you can definitely have this okay there you have it so you can use the normal 2.4 gigahertz wireless one or you can use bluetooth 5.0 so i will connect the battery and we'll be right back so i bought the batteries uh, now again they don't provide that in the box which is weird but maybe because my box was open i'm not sure but in the manual it says that there's no battery provider like there's not mention that there's no battery provider but they are just mentioning that you only have the user manual the warranty card and the keyboard itself this is a bummer i would say we should provide batteries as well so if i see this thing as you can see it says the keyboard the guarantee card and user manual so this is a nice keyboard as you can see this does 2.4 was blinking you have this function key as well as you can see here so you can switch between 2.4 gears and bluetooth so initially i thought it can connect to two bluetooth devices but now i think it can only connect to one 2.4 which is through this usb thing as well as it can connect to your bluetooth device so yeah you can it can connect to your uh, ipad maybe your tablet and it can connect to your computer via this now i'm going to use bluetooth to connect it to my macbook and connect my macbook to the television which is able to make me work seamlessly from distance so we're going to test this we'll be right back So guys, I'm using the Sportronix Bluetooth keyboard for quite a while now. And you can see the size is comparable to my MacBook keyboard. So this is kind of a laptop keyboard. There's no number keys here as you can see. And it's as small as my MacBook. Now I connected this hub to the TV so I can mirror my screen. And I can use this keyboard wirelessly. My purpose of buying this is for this only so that I can remotely access, uh, connect my MacBook to the TV and I can operate from far distance. Now let's talk about the Bluetooth keyboard itself. So let's open the word as you can see. Now I'm gonna show you uh, that the, the, the key noise you can see, if you can hear it. And you can see key, key, key strokes didn't register because I think it didn't turn on. So turning on, you can either press escape key or Fn plus two, which should show a light here. You can press and hold as well. And you can see it turned on right now. And now it should come under the Bluetooth settings of my MacBook. This is Bubble 3.0, but it's not connected, so I will connect it. So now you can see there's two uh, uh, things there, 2.4 gigahertz and Bluetooth as well. So I think it went in parry mode. So what I will do is I will just switch it to 2.4 gigahertz. And I will switch to this as well. Now it happens sometime, as you can see, it got connected. Now this is kind of a bug in this, uh, you need to deal with it. Uh, but now if you see it's working well i tried all keyboards it's working well 
this happens that sometimes you know it doesn't turn on or you know uh, there is connection issue all you have to do is just switch the connections and it just works because sometimes i found that if i press it if this f2 or f3 hard it goes to pairing mode so when it goes to pairing mode it won't connect to your uh, system that's normal with do the keyboard guys uh, so overall the keycaps are okayish now if you compare with butterfly keyboard there's no match guys this one's beast and if you even compare with the Lenovo laptops, I would say they have much better keycaps than this. This is a subpar, okay-ish keyboard keycaps. Now, I won't suggest this for much long usage. So if you are typing for more than uh, two hours, one, one and a half hours, two hours, go for a better keyboard. Because for this price, $899 or triple nine, you can actually get uh, this, which is the HP uh, RGB keyboard. I have a video on my channel. I will link it here. For eight ninety nine to nine triple nine, you can get this keyboard. It has the RGB. It has the membrane switches, and this is good recommended for long usage. It has a full size keyboard as well. But somehow, if you needed a Bluetooth keyboard, then this is a really good in this price segment. Because guys, for triple nine, I would say it is hard to get a Bluetooth keyboard in this price. Like you can get easily get a wired keyboard. You can get the eyeballs wired keyboard for six hundred. But for this price, I would say, and Portronics brand is really good. The build quality here is insane, guys. It's, it's plastic, but it's well built, super well built. Uh, only the, the keycaps, I don't like it. It's okay, support. I won't use it for more than one and a half hour. Now, my purpose of buying this is so that I can connect my MacBook to my TV and I can just take this on my bed, take this pillow, I will put this here, and I will bring my Logitech mouse. So that I can sit on couch, do some work, see if it's meetings or maybe some if you're consuming some content on YouTube or maybe a little bit of emails here and there. So uh, my distance vision is improved because I'm uh, watching uh, from far away on my full power normalized glasses, hashtag and myopia. And I can just operate it from here as you can see. And it works as well. I will go to the next key. And as you can see, it's working fine. So the distance is as... Uh, also very good as you can see it's far away uh, and it just works for it so for this I would say highly recommend it if you are uh, uh, if you're using a computer less and if you want like a quick Bluetooth keyboard for like normal task it's fine uh, but I, I don't suggest for gaming or long typing for more than two hours because you get tired with this keyboard guys it's, it's very flimsy I would say the, you can definitely use it there is no denial on that but for this price uh, I would say you can really get good keyboards like this one so I would say yeah if, for normal usage highly recommended the best part of this keyboard is that right now you can see I was using it with my um, uh, with my MacBook right I have a yeah, nice active focus long distance and I'm doing my work and now I can just press Fn and this you can see this 2.4 gigahertz now the light will blink and now it is connected to my mind rig, which is just amazing or if I want to connect it back, F2, Fn, F2, and you can see it is connected to my MacBook again. And I can even connect third device. So if I have an iPad or a, a, maybe a phone or something like that, you can definitely connect it. And as you can see, it should work now. As you can see, it's working fine. So for connections, it's really fast. I'm really impressed how fast it connects. Sometimes there is connection issue. Uh, sometimes, you know, as you can see, uh, when it uh, went to auto sleep, so it goes to auto sleep. So if you're not using, it will just turn on automatically. Sometimes it takes time to turn on. Once it's on, it's really good. And all you have to do is just switch the inputs and it works fine. So for this price, I can't really complain. The build quality is good. It gets the job done. The distance is good and it's usable keyboard. So definitely recommend it but for long hours usage for gaming or for long typing just go with the hp keyboard it's it's it's, it's a good keyboard that's pretty much for this video hope you liked it if you like this video give a thumbs up and subscribe to the tech show if you haven't already thank you for watching we'll catch you in the next video bye bye now